Hey there pirates! Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. Luffy has become one of the Yonku, and the whole world trembled. His childhood friends and the friendships Luffy made along the way celebrated his new title. However, even among them, people do not know what those news and the wanted poster truly mean. The entire One Piece world will collapse when they discover that Luffy has become a god, and I will reveal how all of this will happen in today's video. But before you join me on this journey, leave your like on today's video and subscribe to the channel so we can reach 300,000 subscribers. Let's go to the video. I also hope I can help you achieve your dream of learning to draw your favorite anime and manga characters doing whatever you want in the way you imagined, something that becomes easy when you have access to the incredible course, Anime Express, by teacher Noah Williams, which costs less than $1 a day. So check the link in the description to learn in just a few weeks. Now, let's get to the video. Guys, as you know, Luffy became one of the Yonku after his victory against Kaido, and around the world, the news made people tremble or cheer. However, everyone who heard about it has no idea of Luffy's importance to the world they live in, or rather, the importance of his awakening. The change in Luffy's appearance is visible from his previous wanted posters to his 3 billion bounty poster. However, people do not know that this appearance means he has become the sun god, Nika, and this for a very simple reason. Almost no one in the entire world knows the true existence of the sun god. With its discovery, the world will turn all its hopes to Luffy. So, at the beginning of the video, let's quickly see how the story of the sun god was lost, and after that, see how this twist will happen. After all, during episode 1040 of One Piece and chapter 1018 of the manga, we see Who's Who presenting the existence of Nika. For those who don't remember, before Who's who joined Kaido's crew. He was a former member of CP9 who was imprisoned for failing a mission. There, he lost all hope of life and believed he would never be freed. This mission was simply to transport a simple devil fruit, the Gomu Gomu no Mi, a devil fruit that gave rubber powers to whoever ate it. However, as I said, he failed the mission because Shank's crew attacked and stole that fruit. Returning to the story, without hope in prison, he heard a legend from a guard, a man who was not identified. That man, seeing the conditions of those imprisoned by the world government, began to pray to a being called Nika, a god who could relieve their suffering. At that moment, it was revealed to us that Nika had been worshipped since ancient times by all those who had their freedom taken away. Upon hearing these prayers, Nika would come to free them from their suffering, being the being with the greatest freedom in the world. However, the most important point for today's video is that the guard who told the legend that was heard by Who's Who disappeared without explanation. Because of this, Who's Who suspected that the world government had done something to him, having taken the guard's life just for knowing that story. In fact, it was for this reason that, afraid of being punished for knowing too much, he decided to escape from prison. With this story, we can see that people do not know the story of Nika, a legend that was erased along with the lost century, and very few clans have any information about it. We see this during episode 837 of One Piece, when we learn more about Big Mom's past. After being abandoned by her parents, she was taken in by Carmel, someone who always forgave her for what she did. During the fasting period of Elbaf, Linlin went into a rage, causing much destruction, including a huge fire. Carmel placed a fragment of her soul in the fire that Linlin had started, creating a sun homie called Pandora to suppress the flames. And here is where Nika comes into the story. The giants believed that Carmel had summoned the sun god. Here we see that the giants knew of his existence, but did not know his appearance and possibly his story, as they feared the presence of the false Nika. Furthermore, we do not know if the sun god Nika really existed. So far, we only know that there is a mythical Zoan-type devil fruit called the Hito Hito no Mi model, Nika, which is the fruit formerly known, in fact, throughout our lives as the Gomu Gomu no Mi. However, this may have been the first god created by humanity. After all, devil fruits are created through humanity's desire. In other words, the sun god may have been a legend from the past, a legend created by people suffering from the malicious actions of the Twenty Kingdoms, and these beliefs in a liberating god caused the Zoan fruit to be born. In the end, someone to oppose the Twenty Kingdoms emerged after gaining the power of this fruit, and his destiny was set. The first pirate, Joy Boy, the Twenty Kingdoms, 
united as one, decided that this fruit should never be eaten by anyone again, even erasing its original name and existence from historical records, renaming it Gomu Gomu no Mi, and reclassifying it as a paramecia. However, the fruit was born from humanity's desire for freedom, and for this reason, this fruit had the freedom to find the one who could face the 20 kingdoms, now called the world government, and liberate the world. In the end, despite the existence of a few remaining records of the Sun God, such as we saw in Chapter 1096 of the manga when we discovered that Kuma dreamed of being free like Nika, the world government fought to erase all this history, as Saturn mentioned when trying to silence Kuma. In the end, people only recognized that Luffy became one of the most powerful and respected pirates in the world, a Yonko, but they don't know that he became a god. All of this is because of the last person to awaken this fruit before him, Joy Boy, who, by directly opposing the wishes of the 20 kingdoms, became a symbol of freedom. The few who know fragments of the sun, God's story, know it as derived from the legends of the past, legends that even predate the mysterious Joy Boy. Bonnie confirms this for us. Even though she was close to Luffy for some time, she took a while to recognize Luffy as the Sun God. It was only in Chapter 1118 of One Piece that she fought alongside him. Also assuming a form similar to Nika's, Bonnie was moved to realize that Nika was truly before her, and the same will happen with the rest of the world. Everyone's reaction will be astonishing when the importance of Joy Boy to the world's past and the end of the world noble's tyranny is revealed, especially when the existence of a hidden entity, Emu, who controls the entire world, is unveiled. At that moment, everyone will realize the prison they live in and that the life they lead does not contain true freedom, and that only one person could guide the world to its true potential. Nika, the sun god, who now, thanks to the power of a devil fruit, is incarnated in the pirate Luffy. At that moment, all hopes would turn to Luffy. This also makes us wonder if Luffy's destiny was already set, or if it was set from the moment he was chosen by that fruit. After all, the boy is following the same path as Joy Boy, seeking the greatest freedom of all and fearlessly facing the world government, which in the past was the union of the 20 kingdoms that faced the Great Kingdom and also the Pirate's Joy Boy. With this, we can imagine how great changes will start to happen from now on, with the revelation that the world of One Piece is sinking and soon may be submerged. Thus, Fear should begin to spread everywhere inside and outside the Grand Line, and salvation will then be seen in Luffy. After all these revelations, we can now imagine what the gigantic Noah's Ark is for, and this Ark would be used with the help of Joy Boy, and the return of Joy Boy has finally arrived. But what do you think about this? Will the world's reaction be one of hope upon seeing Luffy's arrival as a god? Do you think the story of the Sun God will soon be discovered by everyone? Comment your opinion. That's a wrap for today's content. We hope you enjoyed it and want to share your thoughts on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and catch you in the next video. Take care and stay awesome.